How's it going today? Uh, today we're going to take a look at this Bugera 112 combo tube amplifier. Uh, this is a vintage V22 Infinium. Okay, uh, you know, from what I was reading, this amp was modeled after a Vox AC15 and a Matchless. So it's kind of similar that way. This is 22 watts, it is all tube, and it has a circuit board. Uh, you know, it has reverb, and it has a presence knob. You know, it's just the basic mid, you know, bass mid treble thing. Uh, it does have a master volume, and it's, and it's two channels, it will switch, which is really nice. Uh, I believe it does have an effects loop and stuff too in the back. Uh, before this is over, I'll give you a nice shot of the front, the controls, all the inputs and stuff in the back, too. So, let's see what the reverb does. Reverb's on about 5 right now, or like noontime. Let's dime it and see what it does. really uh, let's put it back to about three quarter <laughs> Honestly, it's really nice. It's kind of subtle. It does act a lot like this Vox. It's kind of, uh, you know, it doesn't saturate the signal. It's kind of after the fact, which is nice and it's usable. Okay, so I'll put it back down to about noon. Um, we'll run it right there for a while. Now, Let's go over to the dirty channel. It's a little little dirty there. Uh of course, we can get it dirtier if you'd like. Let's try that. I'm going to dime the gain, and we'll put the master on about five. So this is all the saturation this amp will deliver. It's a little brittle for me up there, which, you know, it's understandable. We don't all run the gain on 10. Let's put it back down to noontime. Now that's kind of a nice little, sort of like a blues tone, you know, with just a little bite on it. kind of nice definitely usable all right I'm gonna go back to the clean channel all right I'm gonna go back to the dirty channel again because there is a boost button on here too that I didn't try yet so the gains on five the masters on five this is the dirty channel with 
that on five. Let's try it with a boost. Is without the boost. Is with the boost. So you can leave that boost button engaged, you know, so if you do swap over to that channel, it'll be on. It's a mid boost, as you probably can already hear. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, you know, I was doing some reading about these, uh, Bouguer, I think they're owned and made by, uh, Behringer, if I'm not mistaken, or they own the company. And uh, I believe that's where I was. It was the same article I was reading about these amplifiers. And uh, I was trying to find out what this Infinium technology was, okay? Because it says that it extends your tube life, okay? That's a good thing because tubes are very expensive now and hard to get at times. Uh, and that's where I read about this amp being modeled after an AC-15 Vox and also a Matchless, which was kind of also modeled after an AC-15. Pretty popular circuit and whatnot. So, again, this is a 112 amp, combo amp. It's all tube. Uh, now, from what I read about the Infinium technology is this. What it does, it's almost like, it's, I think it kind of acts like a power conditioner, a built-in one. So from what I gathered, uh, what, they, what they said in the article was this. When you plug your amplifier into the wall, you know, here in America it's, you know, 120 or whatever, okay? It could be 110 to like 2... 20 something it all depends on where you are you know if you plug your amp in to a wall socket at a club and they're running like 10 freezers and ice machines and you know the power could be different it could be 110 it could be 118 it could be whatever you know you never really know so what this does uh it has a, some sort of built-in technology that keeps the voltage the same. And it's sat for the tube, so, and for the amp, the whole circuit itself. So, by doing that and keeping the voltage constant, uh, that extends the life of your tubes, supposedly. So, which makes sense, you know, I, I... I mess around with tube amps and stuff, and I've been, you know, studying circuits and how this stuff works for a few years now. And, uh, you know, that does make sense because, you know, it's like an engine. If if it's not getting, and, and power's like fuel to an amplifier as, you know, versus a, a gasoline engine. So... You know, if you don't have good fuel going in there, or the same uh, octane rating fuel, your engine's not going to run the same. Same thing with these. If the voltage is fluctuating all the time, or if you're plugging into a, you know, a hot voltage room, a low voltage, that can really wreak havoc on your tubes, you know, over time. And uh, so they figured out a way to... to uh, to extend the life out. I, I kind of like the technology and it does make sense. Uh, you know, all in all, I will say this. First of all, this amp uh, belongs to a friend. He left it here a couple of years ago. He comes back. You've seen him in the videos too. Uh, he's off teaching school in other countries and stuff right now, but I, he leaves stuff here, you know, he's an old friend, that's how this goes, but 
Uh, you know, I will say one thing. When I looked at these before he left this here, you know, you could buy one of these for around 500 bucks. I think it was under 500 bucks free shipping. And I'll tell you what, for that kind of money, that's quite an amplifier. It really is. I mean, I've only played this a handful of times. Uh, it sounds pretty close to this Vox. I mean, I'm using the same guitar that I used in the Vox video that I shot yesterday, which was this amp. Maybe what I'll do next is uh, we'll do a shootout on some of these lower wattage tube amps that I have. And we'll use the same guitar and that kind of thing. And that'd be kind of interesting just to see how close the circuits sound. You know, not necessarily to find out which one I like better or you like better, but just to see the differences. You know what I mean? All right, well, let's take a good peek at this. I'll show you the knobs and uh, all the inputs. And we'll just kind of take a nice look at it. It's had to stop playing it, honestly. It's really quiet, no buzzes, no hums. All in all, I, I gotta say, bang for the buck, this is a nice little amp, it really is. You know, most lower end, you know, amplifiers, a, a circuit board amplifiers nowadays, and that's just what it is. You wanna pay up and get a hand wired one, you can, but like I said, for the money, it's all tube guys, it's all I can say. It's got a lot of power too. 22 watts will blow you right out of this room. I know it will. All right, let's take a good peek at it, guys. All right, guys. Still on, actually. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so there's your inputs and here's the panel right here, okay? Pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, we've all seen that. I got to tell you, the appointments and just the, how they did it, the grill cloth. I love the, I love how the design is. Uh, it's really, well, there it is sitting next to a Vox AC-15. You know, they're both cool, really stylish, I think, to be honest with you. I love them both. Let's take a look at the back panel. Alrighty, here we are on the back side of it. So, you, this is switchable too. So you can switch it from triode to pentode mode too. Which we didn't do, but it has a, a monitoring light that tells you when it's time to replace your tubes. Kind of nice. Uh, you know, it's switchable here too. The speaker outs, your foot switch, and then there's an effects loop right there too. Okay, and this is the speaker turbo sound. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's what it is. That's where your tubes are housed in there, and your transformers. Again, just a really, a really well built amplifier. And it's just really cool to look at. I love the uh, love the layout and the color is really nice too. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Be good.